when these people are bringing this religion to us they brought it together with church with hospital with school how is our hospital today how is our school today we only focus on church i see don't fish we only focus on church and these people that transported this religion to us their school is functioning their hospital is functioning their church is functioning to some extent but really the basic needs of people is not only church the basic needs of people is not only only prayer have you ever seen government officials come on the road to come and say oh they didn't pay us raising placard is the common man that is always on the street strike of payment strike for lack of payment guys welcome back to my channel jimmy here i'm so excited to be back i hope you're doing amazing i hope everything is working well for you if you're new to my channel you're welcome please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you're not new thank you so much for always coming back it means so much to me thank you so i decided to make this video separately because i want to be able to run through the comment section and also be able to you know read out the content of the prayer that the first lady and the nsa that you know <laughs> the prayer that they want us to pray i really want to you know pay attention to that without you know taking attention out of it so let's go ahead and read the the content the first lady and nsa set to lead a national prayer for nigeria's economy turnaround a follower Nikon explained, unity is crucial for finding lasting solutions. By the end of this prayer session, we believe that with God's wisdom, our leaders and citizens will find the strength to confront our common enemies. The prayer session will take place at significant venues. Muslims will gather at the National Mosque in Abuja for seven days during which 313 individuals will recite the Quran, culminating in the recitation of the Holy Test 2,191 times for national stability. Christians will meet at the National Ecumenical Center for a week of intense prayer. Pastor Jerry is a prayer every day. Well, maybe that is directed to people's need, not to the national needs. With prayer warriors from various denominations focusing their effect on the nation's adversities, extensive outreach had been conducted, including meetings with leaders from the National Mosque, the President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, and traditional leaders such as the Sultan of Shokoto. So let's just go to the comment section. So the first person say, how many prayers did you need to buy the yacht, build VP lodge, imported SUVs for legislatures, those on earned bonuses to judiciary and ologos? <laughs> how many wastage spending did you pray for? Nigerians are suffering and you're praying to God. How many prayers did you offer to remove subsidy that was never there? What a disrespect to the Almighty. Stop disrespecting us. I love this comment so much. From my last video, you will see I made mention that it is an insult to that when they want to play dumb, when they want to behave like, oh, we don't know what to do. They will come and say, oh, let us pray. Be praying for us. And you will see some other big, big men of God will also be backing them. At this point, really, we will say it, we will die. If we don't say it, we will, not die. We will die at the end of the day. Because at this point, we just have to say it as it is. As it is. I'm a Christian. You see some men of God also will be echoing their voice with them and say, oh, it is spiritual. When they are buying yacht, when they are buying private jets, when they are allocate, when they, are, when they want to do their own thing, they really just take the decision on the swearing day immediately he said oh subsidy is gone you don't have to sit down and pray oh god what did you want this country to do what do you want us to do give us wisdom we don't want to make mistake like you you build you, you are you are wasting money without consulting god when it comes to helping people that that elected you they did not even elect you you impose yourself on them but at least you are there for them 
then your brains all of a sudden lost and the husband and the wife they cannot think anymore it is like an insult and if all these kind people show themselves there it means that their brain also is not working go and pray for what every sunday they pray there is no church that do not have section pray for the peace of jerusalem those that love it will eat the good of the of it they we pray you know if it's like the duty of the christian to pray not until when the leaders are getting fed this is what P.O. was talking about. Bunch of jokers. Of course. Hey, <laughs> God. At this point, these people are using us to catch crews. They know our traditional. I was also wondering, you know, they talk about pastor, they talk about church, about mosque, traditional. How ah, about the, the <laughs> traditional one? Deliberate insults to injury, intentional mockery. I don't know how this Christians in Nigeria are getting angry when they say they want to turn the night VJ to. It is just like a, a saying, saying we have to be more productive. You are really putting all this work, all this pressure on God that already giving you the and they know how to take care of themselves. There is no need to even stress. They know how to travel abroad with their children, graduating every year. Yeah. When people said we were wasting productive man hours with religion distraction, with religious distraction, people came for him. The developed countries, did they do it by prayer? No. Gosh, my country, I don't know. The level of our dependency on prayer, it is unhealthy. We have to balance it with work. And the level of... I, my question is, the Western countries that this official stash, they are stolen loot. Do they have prayer sessions to turn their economy around? May thunder strike you now with that useless prayer. Shame on all those in advance that will attend this program. Shame, shame, shame. I already said it. Shame on every single can. I don't care. I'm not in Nigeria. <laughs> shame, shame, shame on every can that they know that this government have been in power for the last two years they really haven't done anything it's all this very stupid policy buying things for themselves private jet traveling spending millions billions of naira wasting money throwing rice at you as if you are you are chicken as if you are you i define the angel will bring me call nigeria thank you the angel that make a way for me to get out of Nigeria. But your husband traveled out for medical treatment. Why una no do video? Mountain <laughs> mountain and dry fasting. Of course. Remember when they want to talk about the minimum wage? See how they were deliberating before they will reach 75. No, 70,000 and their salaries runs into millions their the other packages that come with it the travel the sitting allowances wardrobe allowances housemaid allowance like they are living large they go there to just re compare them to this country where they come to come and treat themselves their prime minister the president the senate all of them do not have this luxury even though they have the money they are not spending like we we are spending and that is why the average ah god again religion is a tool and all these pastors are allowing them to use them because tell me that you don't see that there is problem in the way that this girl if it just stay out of it if you don't want to call them out be in your church and be praying for them don't come and be telling us insulting our intelligence that oh it's a spiritual problem oh you will see all of them will still come out and be praying like Dundee united that they are they are not praying to god do not be deceived. These people fed on human's pain and blood because they are wicked. It is written, faith without works is dead. In other words, after praying, do the work that is required of you. God is not a magician. And then even us Christianity, we 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 have based our Christianity or our beliefs on unmerited favor. You you want to go for you want to go for this uh, position that you know you you really are not uh, merited for 
but you were there on the altar even though i did not submit any application god just okay so now that you find yourself in that office did you equip yourself in order to make sure that you are doing everything that that office required of you don't bring insults to the name of God that opened that door for you. Really, the name of God can open the door for you. Your prayer can be answered. But are you there fulfilling the purpose of that office? Let's take example of Daniel. Daniel was found with excellent spirits. Like every other con counterpart cannot stand him. He's a Christian for heaven's sake. Christianity is not just to be caricature. God is opening to unmerited favor, yet you are there behaving as if your brain is not working. If you are not cut out for that job, you are not just there for being a Christian. Get out. I'm bringing shame to the name of God. The answer to your prayer is still there, your husband's and Go talk to Anne and leave God alone. These people, they use us play. No, they, <laughs> the issue is not prayer. The problem is the non-working governmental system of nigeria but it is working for them it is working for their family it is working for all the elites and it's actually very crazy that you know all the middle class and the high class whatever classes in they put themselves now that it is affecting them is when they are talking when the common man are just you know struggling 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 they were happy to be giving them oh it's okay i'll see you next month take this twenty thousand money they also will be so happy ah hey, shame madam thank you madam now madam do not even have any ten thousand to give you madam is also struggling complaining lamenting oh yeah that is when they now have to start talking like people that see us as big man even maybe the reason they are talking now is because they cannot do big madam they can still feed themselves but that big madam Prayer doesn't change a country economically. Factories does. <laughs> you know, the money they're supposed to use for all of this, they spend it. It's like they are borrowing money to be funding their own lifestyle. Even if they are borrowing all this money and they are using it to create opportunities in the, go in, in, in the country, they will be turned over. They will be making all this money in order to be able to pay back. But no, they are borrowing all this money to... Hey God. Religion needs to go if Nigerian and African want to develop because what it is... Honestly, I'm not going to say the religion because really, they said they transport all this religion from this Western country. We will now carry it more than what are we doing before this religion comes and even after this religion comes. When these people are bringing this religion to us, they brought it together with church, with hospital, with school. How is our hospital today? How is our school today? We only focus on church. I say don't fish we only focus on church and these people that transported this religion to us their school is functioning their hospital is functioning their church is functioning to some extent but really the basic needs of people is not only church the basic needs of people is not only only prayer government is responsible for school for hospital and so if they are in the office getting did, have you ever seen government official come on the road to come and say oh they didn't pay us raising placard is the common man that is always on the street strike of payment strike for lack of payment they did not pay the us the, the doctor they did not pay the teacher they didn't see this as important but yeah they will run back to church say, come and pray for us like they don't know what to do get out of there if you people don't know what to do the church is important the hospital is important school is important one is not going to be ahead of the other because we need that as in fact, the way that they have dealt with Nigerians, some people are in this problem so much that it is normal to them now. That is why when we come abroad, we are surprised. Tell me anybody that comes to this abroad and you're not surprised. Like you were here 24 hours like now. The way you are driving on the road, you're like, eh? you go to the hospital at least for the first time. I gave birth three times in the hospital. Anytime I go to that hospital, it's like they just built it because of the culture of their maintenance. You can never, you can, they, those hospitals will be like 100 years. It's still shiny, shiny. There's no rotting, rotting. Let them commission any hospital in Nigeria. Go back there in the next five years. All the beds, everything is rotting already. There is no... 
Yeah, we will see. They will, they will want to do this prayer. We will see all the can that were attend, all the Muslim that were attend, thinking that God would descend from heaven to come and solve the economy of Nigeria. <laughs> How dumb. How dumb. I will see. Mm. I've come to the end of this video. Please drop your comments if you have any. If you don't have any, that's fine. I'm just here to rant. And um, yeah, I'm done. I'll see you in my next video when I'm in my better mood, laughing and having fun. This one, there's no fun. I have my family back in Nigeria. I wish to stay with my family. I don't want to really be in this country. I wish that my country will work. But all these very stupid governments of which are spending the money that's supposed to be belong to. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye.